Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play some GTNH. So, we're back, and today we're going to make heavy fuel, uh, heavy oil actually, into sulfuric heavy fuel, then heavy fuel into diesel cells, which is mixing uh, the heavy fuel and light fuel together uh, to create uh, the diesel cells. And then we're going to make advanced uh, uh, centrifuge, uh, distillery, chemical reactor, and mixer. So quite a few things here. Um, I don't have enough pumps and whatnot, so I'm going to get a bunch of the components ready, and we'll come back here in a few. Okay, so I want to work on, because we're using MV machines, we need more MV circuits, obviously. And we had done, I know there's some over here somewhere. I know there's some over here too. Oh, you know what, I might have put them all together. It's like four or five of these wafer things that we never got to use yet. Yeah, there you go. I like to actually finally get to use it. So we're going to throw this into the cutting machine. I think you get like 16 of them and then you get like four of the whatevers with it. So we're going to do that now. Shouldn't take too long to cut. Yeah. I've had these for a while, so I thought, you know, there's other things you can make them with it, but I just want it for the uh, cheaper version. I think you get cheaper version of some stuff here. Hang over over that glue. Oh, here you go. Electrum, polyethylene. Oh, that's pretty cool. I might look into that. Where is it? There you go. But, uh, yeah, I just want to get those uh, working. And then let's... On screws. I don't know if I'll need that many down the road, but... You know me, I always like to make a bit of bulk of stuff so that way, you know, like, oh, I'm using it now. I was wondering if I, I... I thought I made a bunch of those at one point. I forgot all about them. Anyways, did we... We finished that, didn't we? Okay, there you go. We should finish that quest, by the way. Maybe not. How many did they want? Maybe they want, like, a lot more. Because they should probably... Advanced machine... Advanced cutting machine. Oh, well, you ain't gotten that right now. Um, so this might get angry if I, I go ahead on this one. So I saw in here that I can use these wafers uh for this here this is what i liked so uh molten polyethylene is probably what we're gonna do unless there's something more interesting you know what i mean there's this one but that's uh, a wire i don't even know what the hell that is see fair so <laughs> yeah when you we didn't when you don't know what something is obviously we're just not there yet so yeah, that one is pretty cool, though. So molten polyethylene, you get a bunch of that. And then we have these guys somewhere. You got fine, yeah. Okay, so let's do that. And I know I have... And what, what is this, in a regular assembler? We could put in the MB assembler and make it a little faster. Okay, and then we have this polyethylene in this one that we should empty out anyways. Oops. There we go. Perfect. Is there any number four? Perfect. Okay. So, and is it just, yeah, it's just these guys and then this guy here. And so, you know, that's going to be a little cheaper, obviously, because we were doing this before, right? So, uh, being able to do these will get a lot more out of it, hopefully. So, now there's the other one I saw there. I'm not sure if we're ready for that yet. Oops, it's this one that's our regular one. I don't know which one is which, to be fair. I'm bad at this stuff. Yeah, here it is. So I saw this here, too. Why is there a bigger, better? Oh, there's that one. I saw, like, a really big number. Oh, are these the same things? Oh, fine platinum. Oh, I do want those eventually. And I was looking at getting platinum. I've been getting, do I have platinum or are going to work on getting platinum? I think I'm going to work on getting platinum. So if you put nickel, so you, this is just, you know, crush and wash nickel. We forge hammer it and then you centrifuge it. You had a chance of getting this version of platinum. I'm not sure if that's literally the same platinum. I think you might have to, you know, do other things with it. 
get nuggets and stuff like that, but I believe that's something you want later on. So I'm going to start doing nickel the slow boat way um, just for that. But we saw, what was this one here then? Yeah, this is for circuits. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's for, oh no, you can use it for MV circuits as well. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay. So this is the one I want to check out. Come on, you can show me. There you go. Yeah, so this is it. So I guess, I don't know if this existed a while back, but probably something else to get a bit more out of it. But there you go. Electrum, polyethylene, and carbon dust. Uh, we've done Electrum before. If you don't know, that's just gold and silver mix. So um, alloy smelter. Yeah, silver and gold. So I'll work on getting some of the fine one. I don't know if we've ever made fine, actually. So this is a good time to do this. I'm out of, I'm basically out of circuits. I have like four or five circuits, six circuits. So wouldn't be enough anyway. So a good time for me to mess around with this. I'll make some of that Electrum and then we'll come back. Okay, so we got the fine Electrum. There we go. I'll do these guys. These guys are already threw in. So we got 64 of those to get us started. That should be okay-ish. And then these guys will help us out. Perfect. Oh yeah, you get quite a bit out of these, don't you? Well, then I won't have to worry too much. Is this still filling or might finally have stopped? <laughs> yeah, a lot more uh, went in there than I thought it would be, so that's pretty cool. There you go. Now that you got the super tank there, you don't have to really worry too much. So these ones, even though it's hot, it won't bug you. That's kind of good. Is it all of it? Cool, yeah. Fits in there. Nice. So I'm guessing there's a quest for these. I guess this one right here, 32. That should trigger something, I guess. There you go. I would say that did trigger something. Cool. Oh, wait. We got all 64, huh? Or we got 64. There you go. Cool. Okay. So that makes me happy. And then I guess I can claim that. We have a few things to claim. So we got that to claim. And then I think there was something else I had to claim. Oh, an LV. Is it the oil or something like that? Doesn't make it easy to find the ones that you finished. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Oil. Probably would have been better for the cells, but whatever. I like to suffer. Thomacron? What the heck? Nickel. Oh, okay. Sure, why not? And then I think that's it for now. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to put these together. So I have to figure out how to do this in the circuit assembler. So you got this, but I never actually looked. I guess you got that, which is a replacement of that. But yeah, it's not a replacement of everything here. So circuit assembler. Okay, there you go. What is this? Tin bolt? Oh, okay. So... Oh, okay, here you go. Either or. Okay, molten tin. Tin bolt, what the hell? A bit weird here. We got lots of lead, so might as well waste lead, I would say. So, yeah, that's both of the ones I did, did have, right? Oh, no, I didn't make that. How do you make this one? Wait, is that what I made? Oh, no, yeah. No, that's what I made. I want to figure out how to make this one now. I think this is later on, though. Oh, this is with the platinum. Okay. So. I did not save this right, did I? No. Okay, I failed there. Um, sorry, there you go. Right click, circuit assembler, there you go. There you go. So you got the tin, we'll do the molten lead version, there you go. So that's the circuit I'll more likely make. I don't know what the difference here is. This is a good version. Oh yeah, we don't have any of that anyways, but... You know what the good news is about this? 
It doesn't use any LV circuits in it. Oh, no, that is an LV circuit. Oh, shit. Oh, I almost made a bunch of LV circuits. So this is the first MV circuit. Oh, I get it. Oh, so I can make the LV circuits a little cheaper, I guess. I don't know if it really is cheaper. Now I think about it. Okay. And this is the MV circuit. I see. Okay. I got lots of those anyways to waste. Fine gold. Silver bolt. Ew, soldering. Oh, here you go. Do that one. I got lots of lead. Okay. This is tin again. Okay. Oh, no. So to make the LV one like this, I would need to get this thing here. Don't think we're quite there yet. You need MV. Then you need the... Oh, yeah, you need all the wafer stuff. Ooh, this, is, this gets expensive. This is the clean room yet? No. Wafer and ruby lens. And then that gives you eight. So it's a pretty good deal. Because, you know, you don't have to use... What would you normally have to use for this? Sorry, guys. I'm, like, learning all this. All that. Well, I don't think that's a big deal. So if I use an MV circuit, you have to have that version? Oh, I see. Okay, so you have to... If you want to get the upgrade anyways, you're going to have to do that. So there's some, you know, losses and gains and stuff like that. It's kind of... Uh, it's like... Oh, you know, maybe, and then it's like, no, maybe not. Kind of throws it at you there. Did I get there? Reinforced metal, huh? Isn't that, uh, yes, yeah, Steve's cart. <laughs> Steve's cart. We'll just throw you in there. Forget about you. Ooh, torches. Never had that before. Okay, and then get rid of the food. More food. And then get rid of these guys. My only issue is these guys have been so annoying to make. I gotta figure out if there's a better way over time to make that. But uh, I think there is later on. So so I get to decide if I do this for the LV circuit, I guess. Um, how do I make a normal LV circuit? Because they were so easy in my mind that it just seems like a waste to try to do this version. But yeah. Yeah, they seem so easy here to make an LV circuit, to be fair. These LV circuits actually look more expensive, but maybe they're not. So you don't have the redstone anymore, which I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, you don't have the redstone. That's a pretty big di difference is the redstone here. Let's see this properly here. There you go. So you don't have to deal with the redstone. Outside of that, that's pretty much it. But then you can upgrade these ones, which I guess, yeah. Okay, so we're going to make iron chloride here. Um, so this has been a quest I've had for a while. So we need iron chloride three. That's fine. So I have a pretty simple layout here, what we're going to do. Uh, so um, we're going to create the hydrochloric acid here, which is going to be for chlorine. So this is actually supposed to be first. So we're going to make chlorine. I've done this before. We're just going to use the salt method right now to make chlorine pretty simple so let's do that um i like to start over here there you go and then this will make the chlorine is there anything i need to set this to no so boom that should start chlorine right away doesn't require water or anything else perfect then we're gonna make hydrochloric acid so i'm gonna manually bring in the cells at this time later on i probably won't but i don't think we need to have insane amount at this time don't really worry about that um, so we'll do those by cell where the chlorine will come in directly just for the fact that we can get it right here, right? So it makes sense that we just go ahead and pop in the chlorine here. And this is going to be a number one, by the way. And so we have that on there. Fluid auto output. There you go. And then we're going to go down here and get that part of it. So we'll just go over here. And this is the one that, so we can automate this later, obviously. Uh, but this is the one that we get from here. Which, by the way, you can do that and make it five times easier. Okay. 
and there we go. So that's already producing what we want. So one, one to one, right? Yeah. Okay. So the last one is the iron chloride, which works pretty well because you still get the uh, the the stuff here and everything else. So once again, uh, we're just gonna go and click back here. Um, <laughs> no, we're not putting that there. Uh, is there a circuit on there? No, there isn't. So basically, you're gonna put iron in there. And then, which is funny, I have a bunch of iron I actually can put in there, so that works out. And then just empty cells, which, well, these are producing, but I'll go get another stack so I'm not having to wait here. There you go. And I need a thing of iron, which I do have a thing of iron because I accidentally made it. I thought I could uh, put in the blast furnace iron directly. Um, and so I made a whole bunch of iron, and then in the end I realized, oh, I can't do that. And I just don't know where I put it all because there, there was a bunch of it. There you go. But there was a bunch I thought I had. Mm, weird. Oh, here it is. <laughs> well, we got what we need right now, but uh, now you know what was going on there. Okay, so we want you to go here, and then obviously we want to glue it out, put automatically over here, which it is. Perfect. And then, yeah, I guess we're doing an empty cell in iron here. And there you go. And that will produce iron chloride 3, which then we can use to make things like this in a chemical reactor. So I'm going to go make a chemical reactor next. Another chemical reactor, I guess. Um, and then, sorry. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, so in the chemical reactor, you take the iron chloride. It's only 100 basically per board so one one of these things that we're making because how many you're getting out of this i didn't even look so oh you use three thousand oh what the oh that's a little more expensive than i thought it's producing hydrogen by the way interesting so you can just loop that back pretty much interesting okay but uh you know it's using a bit more than i expected actually i was thinking it would be a little less so um you're gonna use three of that okay and you're gonna get a thousand so it does take quite a bit to make this but in the end i think it's okay especially when it's just hydrogen <laughs> and then the other stuff from salt so i can yeah i can definitely recycle that back so i don't know if i want to do that now i guess i could don't forget we we're kind of more limited on this though Let's uh, take this off, and then we'll go like this. There you go. Only downside is it only works so much because... Oh, wait, didn't we put the hydrogen... Oh, no, we were putting the hydrogen there, by the way, so that was kind of a bad idea. Oh, I have the stupid uh, thing on. There you go. So that works anyways. So I guess what you could do here. Oh yeah, let's just do what we normally do here. Yeah, this actually works out for us because we can go like this and then put one here. And there you go. There you go. There you go. So we could probably keep this empty. Let's just keep two in there. There you go. There you go. Okay, that's cool. That's a pretty good start to that. Yeah, let me go make another chemical reactor, I guess, if we want to do that. So the whole reason I wanted this personally was I wanted to be able to make this here, right? So the good circuit board. So um, yeah, we're definitely doing it that version. So we're gonna just bookmark that page. And this is gold foil to put around these guys because before it was either that or put eight. Uh, you had to put eight of these around. And basically this is four times less gold because one gold, like one ingot turns into one plate, which turns into four gold uh, foils, right? In the bending machine. 
where this one was literally basically it's a wire cutter, right? So you go here. Well, I guess you can get oh, I guess you can get less than the iron rod if you go through that. So I guess you could do two gold versus four. I probably wasted on four with the rod one, but because uh, the extruder you can get two rods, right? Per ingot. But this one it's one, so you get you save a bit more. It's a more complicated process, but it doesn't really require a lot of the iron chloride to begin with. So it's not like, you know, it's a big deal. So, uh, and let's, oh yeah, let's do this. Oops. Let's grab the iron chloride here, I guess. So we get the quest done. There you go. That's LV circuits. I'll just go for the thing. Uh, whatever. I got an upgrade too for a chest. That's always kind of somewhat useful. Not as thrilling as I, I would like, but yeah, it works. Okay. So let me build another chemical reactor. I'm oh, fine. Get rid of it. And I'll build another chemical reactor, and then I guess we can do the plates. Okay. So you got this one in here now. So I guess you got this to go here. Though, I don't know if there's any kind of quests. Let's grab this before. I'm guessing there's no... It's just I might as well grab in case there's a quest thing for it. Okay, so we're going to put that in here. And then, of course, normally you'd have this guy go here. And then fluid auto output, which would go over here. And then this is your final final countdown, eh? Um, oh, yeah, so that's this one. This is where you put those two in there. You get your iron chloride going into here. Oh. I screwed up on that badly. Oopsies. Well, whatever. This I had to go back in here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, you got this. We can put this in there. There you go. Okay, perfect. Uh, so you got the this going in here, and then you just put your 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 guys in here. I need to make more of these, I think, because I don't know if I have any more of these actually. So this was done refined glue. I mean, it was a pretty simple one, right? But uh, don't know if I actually made these in bulk at one point or not. They're blinking somewhere. Where do they blink? I think it just blinked over here. Oh, yeah. So if I did make a bunch of them, then we're good. Ugh. Good enough for now, I guess. At least it gets the point done. There you go. So that's that's how you do that a little bit more less resources a lot less gold I guess half the gold but or four times gold that I was doing before the MV I guess rods but uh, it's not it's not amazing or anything so if if you, you can afford the gold honestly uh, um, but it's part of the quest so I mean that's the good part of it and I guess you need it for this version of it later on anyway so there's the plastic one, which is polyethylene, I'm guessing, version. Yeah. Um, and then there's another version, but it's sulfuric acid on that one. Oh, here you go. Oh, no, that's to make the... Oh, my. That's another uh, episode thing anyway, so... Didn't expect to uh, spend so much time trying to make circuits, but... Uh, anyways, I'm going to just make the circuits kind of like what I did before, and then we'll continue on here. Okay, but I'm pretty busy. Um, I think most things in my inventory. I got some circuits done here for MV, which is great. Um, and yeah, I got a lot of LV circuits too done. <laughs> Plus whatever I put in these MV ones. So, um, And I was kind of AFK doing other things as well. But uh, one, two, three, four of these for now. So those are our generators. We're going to make an advanced centrifuge. We're going to make an advanced distillery. We're going to make an advanced chemical reactor. So we're making all these advanced ones. This will get us an achievement, or not achievement, but you know, a thing or two. Oh crap, yeah, I was going to work on this part next. We ran out of, uh, actually, we might have a, uh, we might as well get what I'm making here. We ran out of the rot plates, so. I was actually working on making some more, so. And we have them, so that's perfect. Uh, and you need, what, 80 each time more? Something like that. Um, do, 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 Except one less place, so I don't accidentally. There you go. Ooh. 
Oops, and then eight, perfect. And then the a mixer, there you go. And I'm guessing that's an achievement thingy, or not achievement, quest thing. Awesome, so let's go grab those guys anyways. That center, centrifuge. So these are MV2, yeah, I'm gonna grab that. I'll to grab circuits versus a loot bag. Oh. Guess you can't win them all, right? But it does feel good when you have that meh. Okay, we'll deal with the loot bags eventually here. I mean, I guess I could deal with it now. Is that literally salt? Oh my. Polyethylene bars. We make polyethylene, so it's kind of useless, really. If I got it, like, right the second I hit MV or something, I guess that would have had more use to it, right? So... Okay, so we've done a lot of stuff, like I said. Um, I think we can just go, and once in a while you can hold down A, but I don't know how to get that to work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I uh, probably should have kept all those in that order. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is working. By the way, I did this wrong. I had to pinch on these, and then I had to uh, enable input on both sides, but th I left this to run, put a lot of salt in it, buffered it. Um, I have a thing on the output as well here, so it'll spit out the sodium. And, well, as you can see, chlorine is full, the hydroacid chlorine full again, hydroacid, and the iron chloride is, well, I guess as full as it can get right now, and full there, so... That worked well. Um, I'm happy with that. I can just leave that and use it whenever I need it now. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do heavy fuel um, and then make diesel, basically. So maybe I should do it over here just because there's probably a bit more room here. Um, at least I'm hoping I can do it, you know, fit it in here. I mean, I could try to fit it here, but I think it's too squished there right now. Because um, I don't know how big this would be, to be fair. So I'm just kind of fitting what I can in here. Um, this might be even too many generators. I don't I don't really know right now. This is just what I've decided to do today. So we're going to do that. And then I got to go fi fish a, a pipe, obviously. The old-fashioned go fish here. This is, what is this, steam? Yeah. Let's say it has to be steam because we wouldn't be feeding fuel out of something that big. The fuel's right here, right? So we, if we want to get fuel, we really should get in here somewhere. Wait, is this fuel? I'm so confused now. Or did I go too far? I think we went too... What the... Oh, gosh. I'm, like, lost in my own little uh, death here. Oh, there you go. Okay, we got to abort here for a second. I don't... Here's our fuel, but I'm, like, so confused on this right now. I guess I've never dug over here. That's probably why. Okay, here you go. We'll probably do under here, actually. Okay, this is better. So, we're going to go... Yeah, we might as well keep going here. One more. Don't mind opening this all up, by the way. And this is to make diesel fuel, basically. That's what we're doing here today. Whee! Oh, this is too... Uh, one too far. Okay, there you go. And then... Yeah, no, this will get be good. So we can take this... I was just going to use bronze pipe. Do I got more? Yeah, I did make more. Just making sure here. There we go. And then let's wrench this up, my friends. Crap. This is like about to break. Okay. And then it's up to you, but we want to hook up into this right here. So I'm going to just make this so I can actually walk under here. Probably good to open this up too, like so. If I need to go down here right later on, it's kind of already open. Maybe hit F7 just in case if it's not. I don't know if stuff seven's even on. Okay, it is on now. Okay, so um, we'll go ahead and we're gonna go like this. Fudge the goal. 
And you you actually worked, didn't you? Yeah. Wee. That's funny. But yeah, you can mix pipes if you didn't know that. I mean, we've already done it a few times, so. Usually I fork like a, a, a you know, a big one off, small one, whatever, you know. It's annoying. I know it's not. <laughs> just I don't know why it's or it's just I didn't want it there. It's just how it is. Okay, so we're gonna bring you down. And be happy, you know, pipes don't automatically touch uh, or automatically, you know, join in. You'd have to put plates everywhere. At least you could do that, but oh we did lose our wrench. Okay. I was wondering if that could happen. Unfortunately, I think the jump is exactly three. And this is slightly higher, so you're gonna have to. I'll just do this. I was gonna put a thing in, but I'm gonna have this happen again anyways, probably. So, and then you might as well go ahead and get rid of this stuff because we don't fill it back in anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then, to be fair, I should have done this originally. I should get rid of any excess materials I don't need for for our assembly here because we've already done what we need. Um, and then do I have crap? Oh, I do have four times. I must have made a bunch before, so. Um, and what did we actually come here for? Oh, yeah, new wrench. Probably a good idea to get what you came here for, huh? But I need, uh, this is the one that has the least loss from it, so. I need to just throw that in the assembler. I'm pretty sure that one has the, yeah, because it has two loss per thing, and this is just one, so. That's our go-to. Okay, and then, yeah, we're just going to bring you guys together. Oh, yeah, we were going to wrench you, and then I couldn't. Do, 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 do. There we go, and I'll fix the pipe directions and all that later. You know, I've been pretty good at it lately. I, I know originally it wasn't. I mentioned it, but I wasn't so good with it. And then eventually, I got better. Okay, we are good. So this is all advanced, keep in mind. So this is kind of cool because this is the first time we're using advanced. So this is going to use up everything here, obviously. But uh, So let me let, let that do its thing. Oh, actually, I guess I could just put the wire in now. The wire load was pretty quick, so it's probably already done. Well, part of it anyways. Oh, yeah, more than enough here. Well, actually, I say that, but then I forget, you know, there's the up and down. So just making sure advance, you know, you know, it is the just throws me off sometimes. I just got to mentally make sure it's OK. Perfect. Yeah, I wouldn't use more than that. And then we just need our wire again here. I've had wire cutters in my bag, actually. Have we used wire cutters? Oh, they are in my bag. Was there a wrench in there, by the way? No. That makes me feel good that I wasn't completely, you know, running around like an idiot. I know I do that a lot. There you go. And these are filling up. Lovely. Nice. Okay. So now we can basically put in our machines here that we want. Um, bump, 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 bump. I'll just move everything out of the way here for now. So heavy oil, obviously, we're going to be centrifuging that. Uh, and that's going to be our, our basically our incoming. So let's see what the costs are. This is LV, but we're not using LV. I decided to do MV everything. So you have to right click, I think. So 120, uh, 32. Yes, yeah, so that uses pretty much the whole power. Uh, you got this. This actually uses a bit less. You got this guy, which is going to be uh, also MV. So 120, ouch. And then you have the mixer, which ooh, is also 120. Ouch. So <laughs> this is actually pretty ouchy. This is not going to probably there's going to be some power issues at first, but that's fine. We're going to just let that be. There's going to be some power loss and stuff like that. So screw it. There you go. So advance. There you go. That'll work. And so this will bring in the oil. Don't have to set it to anything perfect. It does not have a sand output, so we also have to deal with the sand output, obviously. So that's up to us, what we want to put there. 
I've been doing these guys lately, uh, oak drawers, and probably going to end up one of these on here. So we'll have enough sand forever. And then actually probably should do a second one. Uh, the input, right? So here we go. What we can do is use our bag again, and boom. Perfect, actually, yeah. And then I can get the oil. So I have a lot of oil sands. Yeah, look at that. So I probably would like to... I'll have to gap here because I was thinking. I wasn't sure where I was going to do this. I'm going to put it right here. This is going to be for all the oil, oil. All the oil. I might not even ever be able to fill that up completely. But um, it's one of those things that I might purposely hunt for more oils. Like, you know, so I have heavy oil and it's sitting there for a long time and I'll have to worry about it. But it's also good to keep an eye on it, obviously, so... Okay, um, that should be good there, and then we'll do our piping, which we can pretty much bring most stuff back in here. Well, I guess we have too much. Um, okay, so, and then you're going to have this guy. So this will go in. You're going to have an output here because you're going to have that. So um, let's do, you know what? Let's do it on here. Let's get that wrench back here, please. Oops. Actually, you know what? I always hate... I always find the fluid ones cost more, don't they? Or they're just more annoying to make. I don't know. Doesn't really matter, I guess, in the end. I'm just going to use... You know what? We'll do the fluid one because I don't actually have a conveyor on me this second, so... Fluid will come out here. And you'll do item auto output then on top. We'll upgrade this so we don't have to worry about it. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and do an item pipe here. There you go. I'm going to put you here. We're going to attach you to here. And I guess in the end we do need a conveyor, by the way. I guess I put all my conveyors away. Or did I run out of regular conveyors? I have some here. Good. Go. And, oh wait, you have to actually set this up, right? So we have to do it like this, I guess. I guess that doesn't matter, actually. So we're importing from there into here. As long as it's working, yeah, there you go. So this will start making our heavy oil, perfect. So there's heavy oil, awesome, okay. So then we're going to take that heavy oil and we're going to turn it into the sulfuric one. So you're going to use the distillery here. So that's pretty simple here. Um, and we have our thing there. Perfect. Do we have to do anything fancy really? No, it's a number one. We just leave it be basically. Okay, so that's cool. Let's pop up our distillery here. We're going to just click back here. <laughs> it already has that. We have to set it to one. There you go. And we're going to get sulfuric heavy, just like that. And then this is the downside to all this, which you don't need a lot, but you're going to need to go back to the, the good old hydrogen here. Yes. Um, I probably should automate this if I can, to be fair. So I'll have a loop somehow going there, I think. So, and this is going to have, this is the downside. It comes out with you. Damn it, we haven't done filters at all, have we? <laughs> Don't know how to do this unless you do too many. No, you can't do too many that way. Yeah, I haven't dealt with filters like that yet, have I? Ugh. I guess I can for now do it manually ish, but it's going to be annoying. I'm going to have to deal with this. So, this is where you might want to actually space this out, to be honest. So, anyways, we're going to use the chemical reactor, I guess, as our last one here. So I would recommend spacing this out. And then, yeah, so we're going to have you come out over here. And then, uh, I mean, you're quite fast, but what is this? Maybe, oh, 800? I think that's more than enough. Speed-wise, okay. And then, oh, yeah, fluid output. There you go. Advanced chemical reactor. This will be a number four. 
And then, yeah, like I said, you have to bring this guy over here. So, I'm going to have to figure out. It might be one of those things that, because it's getting late anyways. It might be one of those things I try to figure out off camera exactly what I want. And then kind of, you know, go from there. I know these have locks. Fluid auto output. Oh, that's cool. I don't think that stops it from the item going in there, though. That would be kind of cool, but probably not. So here you go. You got these guys. So there you go. And you got heavy fuel. Perfect. So that's exactly what we want anyways in that area, right? And then we want to do... Oh, the mixer. Yeah. We still have one more to do, actually. And that's to mix things up. And I think we'll space it again. This is where things are one, two, three, four. Oh, I guess you do have four, but it all can't work at once, or it's gonna it's gonna have a heart attack, basically. The mixer is doesn't need anything there. And this has to this is the other downside. This has to actually be Ugh. So you got the bottom still in the top, right? So we do have the space. Yeah, okay. So what I would do then is use might as well use one of the super tanks. Because you're making the heavy oil anyways. And that way I can possibly babysit it less if that makes any weird sense. I don't know if that does make any sense. But I'm missing super tanks. Where did I put all my super tanks? Okay. So what I'm thinking of doing then is... Because these have auto output too, right? So this is kind of handy like this. Oh wait, though that's useless because I have to sell these. That's the downside. Okay, so um, we're going to do fluid output, I guess, into this one. So fluid output. There you go. So there you go. Heavy, heavy fuels going in there. Perfect. Are you really going to be too fast for all this? <laughs> Keep in mind, you only need one heavy versus five light. So, like, as fast as this is going, it's not going to need this much. It's just, it's the way I've decided. And then you're going to mix all this. So you're going to have to do the light cells. This is where it gets painful. Um, I guess the way to do this is we bring in light over here. And then we're going to have to do heavy. So we're going to have to set up, like, a whole other light one dedicated light I guess and then move it over I yeah, use one of these I guess um, but we don't want to screw up this let's get our wire cutters actually okay, let's get rid of this here and this here and then maybe this right here something like that do we is this one of those ones oh yeah it is I don't think I need that That's a way to get some pumps back. There you go. So, if you need to get some light ones, at least. Yeah, so this this should work. Heavy. Okay. So let's get some cells here. We're getting some of this automated right now. So, this will be our... Yeah, so that'll be that. So I got to bring this into over here now, I guess. Yay. Better to do it this way. There you go. And then. Come on. Oh. And I overdid it again. Well, I guess we're losing lots of uh, things today. There we go. Ta -da. Okay, this will work great. And then, so you're going to do, we're going to do it like before, I think, or attempt to do it before. The only downside is this has an input. 
Oh, oh no, it'll give you... Damn, this is complicated when you think about it. Look, it's going to give you the diesel cells. And you're going to put that in there. And then you're going to have to use the diesel cells. But how are you going to put the end? You know. This is a really crappy recipe. There we go. That is the recipe we want. Why didn't I set that? Okay, so we're going to set it to this one. Perfect. Okay. So it's going to be number five. Okay. That will make more sense. <laughs> the hell we had there. Because that was going to be like... Well, I just couldn't see it happening, to be fair. I'm, I'm sure it's possible, but my brain wasn't going to do it. Okay. So we're going to have you go in here. And then... Might as well let this guy go over here. So, item. Oh, wait. I don't know how to do it with this one. So, I might just do this. And then do it like this. And then, so I'm going to have this set to import but allow input. And then this one's going to allow input. And I technically, I guess this is backwards too, isn't it? Damn it. That's all right. I can go like this because I didn't put it on the machine. And both of these can do that too, which is kind of dumb if you think about it. You know what? I'm going to redo this because that's going to drive me insane now. There you go. I don't know why I didn't put them directly on the machines. There you go. They look better that way. You know what I mean? There you go. So now we'll just go like this. And we allow input, and we allow input. So this will do this thing. Okay, perfect. And then you, good news is this will actually work this time, because we can say fluid auto output, and there you go. And there, <laughs> holy crap. Well, there's your fuel very fast. Here's your output, which now should, in a perfect world, go back here. Boom. And then I'll just do the cir circle again. So we have everything automated except this mess, which, oh boy. I'm trying to think of the best way, I think. So one will dump, one will pick up, right? So if you do it the wrong way, it'll screw up. I think this is where I have to do the filter stuff. So there is this filter here. And I think I can do the filter in the incoming. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, import. So this is what it is. It's just sink foil, fine steel. I need to play with it to make sure I do it right. But I will tell you how I did it and how it works, if it works. Um, and then we'll go from there kind of thing. You know, I'll just leave it, I think, as is. Because um, I just don't know if I'll do it. Now that we're doing diesel, I actually feel kind of confident to give, potentially, I'm thinking of giving it a big-ass mega thing. I know that means everything else will start running a lot more, but I can always make more super tanks. But I also can put super tanks on the other stuff. So if I can f fully automate this without touching it, then I kind of won anyways, right? That's how I see it, so... Um, I guess I could put this here. It just means I might have to put the pipe in the wall or something later on. Let's do it like this instead, actually. And then I can just put a pipe behind the wall later on. I just wish I can have this in a nicer spot, you know what I mean? I guess I have to have that coming in and, you know. I think this is the best spot for it, to be fair. Okay, and then you... We're going to go to here to here. And then I guess you're going to do fluid auto output. And then there you go. And then I can use this to start linking it to the whole system later on. Uh, I'm not too worried about that right now, but obviously. Oh, yeah, we used all this up. So these tanks, right, I might tonight even turn those into uh, the super tank. But this will all shut down once this fills up. So if I do this tonight, then I'll get it done. We'll see. It's getting late. I'm probably going to bed soon, but um, either way, no, I think that's good. This is this makes me really happy. So we got the heavy fuel production and diesel 
They call it fuel, right? But this is diesel as far as I know. Maybe I'm just wrong. I thought it was called diesel, to be honest, but maybe it's not diesel. Oh no, it is called diesel. They call it just fuel, but it's it's diesel in everything else, so. And then later on, you make like a boosted version of it, which it's like uh, another version of it, which we won't get there yet, but uh, I don't even know how you do that at this point, but uh, I do know there's a, a boosted version you'll make. Oh, this one here. So if you look at this, right, if you take this, this burns at, do, you, do I have to right click it, I guess? Okay, yeah, so right click this, and this burns at 480. Light fuel burns at uh, 305. So right away, and we didn't do like an insane amount of work, right away you're getting a huge boost, obviously. Um, and you're getting, uh, you know, a, a lot, like, I mean, just because one heavy fuel, it, it, the heavy fuel is really easy to get too, right? So it's just it's, it's a huge jump for boosting the rest of this, basically. Uh, and then later on, I guess, when we take this heavy... Oh, yeah, here it is. I wanted to check this one out. Um, did I just see the... Yeah, I want to see this. So this one later on. Right-click, I guess, again. Yeah, 1 million. Holy crap. What is it required to make that? Is diesel and... Oh, okay. So we have to make... This stuff. I don't know if that's actually that hard. It might not be as hard as it sounds. But I, I'd have to research it off, obviously. But... I have a feeling it might not be as terrible as we think. It's just you got to do research and do your loops and everything else. Um... But either way, no, I'm really happy with that. Look at how much this is lasting already through all of what we've done, right? So look at that. Look at that. It's not that crazy. Um, this won't keep up, obviously. But uh, either way, my friends, I'm happy with that. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.